I'm Daniel Resnicek from Pacific Northwest Urology, and today I'm going to be answering the question, what is a PCNL? A PCNL stands for percutaneous nephrolithotomy. Percutaneous meaning performed through the skin, nephro meaning kidney, and lithotomy meaning surgical procedure performed to remove a stone. So, percutaneous nephrolithotomy is a surgeon performing a procedure through your skin into your kidney to treat and remove a kidney stone. So why perform a PCNL? PCNLs are performed for many reasons, usually to treat large or complex kidney stones. A PCNL offers a different access point posterior into the kidney, which may allow the surgeon to access stones that would be difficult to treat from other angles. Additionally, the surgeon is able to use much larger instruments and treat very large stones in a short period of time. The stone clearance rate with a PCNL is much higher than performed with extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy or ureteroscopy. The procedure does come with slightly higher risk, including damage to the kidney and surrounding organs, but this risk is generally very low in high volume centers. Let's see how this procedure is performed. The first thing that I do is look at the CT scan preoperatively to examine the stone, the kidney, and the surrounding organs. Ideally, access into the kidney should be placed in a single calyx in order to treat all the stones. However, some stones are very complicated or there may be multiple stones in difficult to access locations that require more than one access point. It's important to also map out in addition to the stones, the surrounding organs, such as the lung, liver, spleen, or bowel to avoid injury to those when attempting to treat the kidney stone. Next, in the operating room, the patient's put to sleep, and I place a small catheter in through the urethra up into the kidney. This allows us to place dye to map out exactly where the kidney is with the use of x-ray. The patient's then transferred to their stomach, and we begin by accessing the kidney exactly where we pick to go preoperatively. Once a needle is placed in the precise location, we then dilate a tract and place a sheath to allow our instruments to go inside and outside the kidney without losing access. We then use instruments to break the stone and remove it completely. The entire kidney is examined very carefully to make sure there are no residual stones. And then following the procedure, I usually place a ureteral stent to allow the kidney to drain and heal from the procedure. Sometimes a nephrostomy tube is required, which is a small tube going from the kidney outside the back to drain the urine, but this is rare. 